Hi, I'm Henry, and welcome to my kitchen. This is not my kitchen. Welcome to everyone's kitchen. So I've been living on my own for most of a year now, and by on my own, I mean with Jack. Say hi, Jack. Hi. Say hi, Sabrina. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she, she will not be appearing on, on screen. But she'll yeah, be just she'll put, a, just put a giant sensor bar on her. She'll be a constant presence in the background. Living away from home, I've learned how to do mostly adulting stuff. I've gone to the store and bought things I need. I have paid bills. I have done other stuff. But one thing that I've been lacking is the ability to cook. I cannot cook at all. I don't know how to cook. I want to change that. That's what we're going to do today. Now, most will tell you that if you want to learn how to cook, you want to start with the easy stuff, the basic recipes. Once you get those down, you can move on to the more advanced stuff. Makes sense. But those people are wrong. If you want to learn how to cook, you have to start with the hardest recipe first. That way, once you get it down, everything else is a breeze. So I googled hardest recipe, and the first result was pufferfish. They did not sell me one. No, I don't have certification, but I... No, I... I... I don't think you understand. I I have a I, I'm a YouTube I have a YouTube channel. Four thousand subscribers. Four four and a half thousand. God damn it. Second result was some Mexican dish that takes five years to cook. Now I'm perfectly willing to throw away five years of my life to make something terrible, but I don't think you guys are. Yeah. Third result was the souffle. That I can do. So on this annual episode of Cooking with Henry, I'll be making a souffle with absolutely no cooking knowledge at all. I don't believe. Me neither. I, I know. Alright, so the recipe I'll be using is from eggs.ca. That's right, these eggs are Canadian. The basic souffle recipe, which I mean, there's nothing basic about the souffle we're really making, but it's a good start. They say that making souffle is actually a simple process, despite its reputation for being difficult to make. Trying cheese, crab, and vegetables more for, de for decadent dinner. I'll be adding cheese, crab, and vegetables for a decadent dinner. Step one. Preheat oven to 375 degrees. Or 190 Celsius for all those people living in not America out there. Step two, melt butter in medium saucepan over low heat. Stir in flour, salt, and pepper. Cook, stirring constantly until the mixture is smooth and bubbly. Stir in milk all at once. Continue stirring until the mixture boils and is smooth and thickened. Do we have a medium saucepan? This, is this medium? No, it's not a saucepan. <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess that works, but... It works. Does it how much butter? What are your bets on how this is gonna go? Yeah. See what tablespoons of butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 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 the wrapper. You see, turn it, turn it, turn it. What? The wrapper, it's on the wrapper. Oh. Okay, you use a knife, yeah. and there's a cutting board. Can you figure those two steps <laughs> You're not out? supposed to help me. I need to figure it out. Henry, I think you would have needed that, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> is there like a cutting board? Yes. Where? Oh, it's blended in with the counter. It's white. Just like you. Yes. This is not tablespoons. How many cups are in a tablespoon? You know, I was being a bit optimistic about that. I'm, sp I'm starting to agree with you more. You said, how many cups are in a tablespoon? I, I meant that. I know the tablespoon is smart. Yeah, Jack is more clueless than me, if you can believe it. Sabrina knows what she's doing, but she's forbidden to help. Almost your desk broke. Which is gonna happen. These aren't tablespoons. How many tablespoons in a cup? Henry, will this even fit in the pan? You said that wasn't how you wanted. Not, those weren't my words. It does make sense. You, you just bring the pepper, don't you? Yes. Is that enough? I don't know. Better, I forgot. Is Sabrina trying this afterwards or no? No, I would. Yes. Uh, salt. Uh, I'm just eyeballing it for the, for the salt and pepper. You don't, you don't pour salt. You just, you just sprinkle it, don't you? Is that sprinkled? Okay, imagine having an allergy to eggs. Can't relate to that. <laughs> This doesn't seem like enough material to make a thing. Yeah, I agree. Did I get some water? I don't know. We'll have Henry like put a little Did thing on the. Milk, by the way. Oh yeah. Better late than never. Do you know how much? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. What? I really don't think this was meant to be done in a pan like this. Now this is starting to look more reasonable. I would say. This chunk's flipped. There's, there's less of there's, I, I agree, there's less chunks. Thank you, Jack. You're a good friend. You can back up. You can get, you don't hold a static camera anymore. I want it to be dynamic. What, what, what I'm paying you for, Jack? 
<laughs> what? The one I you're not paying me anything. You said I got 50% of the company I, 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 I when you started be, this channel. I, I, and you I, I, have not I, I, given I me will, shit. I will be paying you if you keep up being a bad cameraman. I know you said that as a joke before, but now... You, you don't get half... You don't, you don't own half the channel, Jack. It's my channel. It's got my name on it. You gave me 50% equity it's at the got, start of It's got this my game name on it with a bunch more E's in it. Actually, yeah, guys, he's renting my material. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, <laughs> quick, can we go. just get a quick hey. shot of your credit card real quick? I was kidding, by the way. I'll take it. <laughs> no, it's hers. <laughs> I think this seems ready. There's no more chunks. Instruction yes. isn't no chunks. The instruction is that it's thick. That looks pretty not thick. Okay, is it getting more thick? No. Step three, separate eggs, beat yolks well, and add a quarter cup of warm sauce mixture to the egg yolks. I need a bowl for this, I know that much. Do you know what separating eggs is? Uh, separate the yolks from the... Do you know what? Uh, no. I'm just gonna try to hold yolk in my, with my finger. Fuck. Time to... It's very separated. Oh, uh, okay, that works too, I guess. There. Now, part two. Oh, that's how you do it. Thank you. You shouldn't have said that so early. <laughs> Damn it. I would have done it. Do it! Do it. This is not working. It's not, it's not going through. I told you. <laughs> and now it's all. That's ruined. Give it away. Would you like a demonstration of how to do it properly? No. Okay. Fuck. Shit. You put the shell in there! <laughs> uh, this is not separated. What? Uh, let me see that. Um... We gotta try this again. I gotta agree with you on that one. Trying this again. Ten minute break and come back or no? No. Okay. <laughs> this sounds pretty ominous. Uh, do I blame you for this? No, it's Sabrina's fault. She did this. She Nobody's did this. gonna believe you. No, she did this. She moved it to another thing and she spilled it all over the all over the thing. Where Um I wouldn't touch that with your What? No. Mm-hmm. Alright, thank you. Anyway, I had the great idea of refrigerating the eggs to make it easier to separate. Uh-huh. You have five attempts left. I ask you once again, would you like a demonstration? How many do I need? Four. <laughs> okay. So do I just take the yolk out? I have fully oh, broken the egg up. Okay. So? You can give me a demonstration. It's like this. And then right. have a steak. Fancy. Not really. It's two egg yolks, four egg whites. Okay. And uh, over there, and over there, and like that, and like that. Oh wait, I don't, I don't need another one. Uh, would, would, you, would you like a gift? I'm good. Would you like a gift? I can't believe you're so rude. Oh uh, boy, it's not a great break. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. <laughs> it works! Can you tell me it's not working? How about this gift? It's got more shell to it. Good, thank you though. Yep. No. I'll be giving away this egg to, to, the, to the top commenter on this video. I'll, I'll give this egg to the, per to the first person who buys my merchandise. I've got a tap tree with my face on it, I've got a bed with my face on it, I've got a shower with my face on it, I've got a mini skirt with my face on it. That one is at a 200% markup. It's, I hope you understand. Uh, buy it now at uh, redbubble.com. Uh, 1400. Good, on camera, Jack. What? You put soap on that? There's only dish soap here. Question stands. Uh, where's the whisk? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't need the wire. It's wireless. That's oh, it's trying. wireless. Okay. Is this the button? Yes. Get this on camera. Now that's some good whisking. Now that's what I call whisk. 
Just call me Whiskey Boy or that's me and my cat. Ooh boy, it's got a skin to it. Oh god. Perfect. Step four, combine yolk mixture with the remaining sauce, blending thoroughly. If desired, add finely chopped filling ingredients, stirring into white sauce until blended. Mix this together first, then you add Ah, I see. Thank you for the unsolicited advice. You're not, you're not supposed to help me. Okay. It stands better. What? Oh. Ah, just like me. Look. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're standing. I agree. Yes. It's, one of, it's one of my many talents. Doesn't that look great? It's not done yet. I know, it's but... It's not done yet. It... <laughs> It's not done yet. Now that looks like something that could possibly be edible soon. So this crab uh, is from uh, Fishman's Marketplace in Western Eugene, Oregon. Uh, it's good, they go out uh, every day, they go out to, to, to the ocean, they get the crab, they bring it back for you to eat. It's very fresh. It's, it's been in my fridge for the last two days, but that's very fresh. Uh, this cheese uh, is, is Tillamook cheddar cheese. I've lived in Oregon for 19 years. Tillamook is the best cheddar cheese. You can believe me there. This is a carrot. It's just a. It's a. It's a carrot. This is a fucking carrot. I don't know how to cut crab. This seems wrong. <laughs> what does that suck? The look on your face tells me that this is wrong. <laughs> okay. A lot uh, of crab. Who wants to tell Henry he's holding the knife upside down? Seems like you did. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. This seems finely chopped enough. Yeah, you, you, you believe what you want to believe. <laughs> Sabrina is covering her face and walking away. Yeah. You know, I think that's enough crap. This seems like the right amount of cheese. Believe it or not, I'm not an expert on like quantities of cheese. You're gonna have to be on your own for this okay. one. Okay, I am an expert on quantities of cheese. Okay. That's the right amount. They call me Henry Boyer, carrot expert. I thought they called you whiskey or whatever. They call me many things. You gotta wash your carrots before you cook them because they are dirty. They are dirty and need to be cleaned. And then you chop it with the knife that still has crab on it. Yes, the right way around. Is it? Yes. <laughs> okay. It is. Uh, I mean, you can talk as long as it's not helpful. What is he doing wrong, actually? I'm like... You're supposed to get the skin off. Oh, oh there's skin? The outer layers that are coated in dirt and... I washed it. You're also eating it. Fine. Yes, so are you. I am not touching it. <laughs> what if it's really good? No. But what if it... But what if... Step five, beat egg whites and cream of tartar in a large bowl and they'll stiff but not dry. Fold some of the egg whites into the sauce and make it lighter. Then gently and thoroughly fold the sauce into the remaining egg whites. Is this the stuff you were talking about? Cream of tartar? struggle with? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's only because I didn't expect it to struggle with knives. There's a seal on this. I don't have finger, I bite them. I can't get, Sabrina, I need, I need your fingernails. But no, I don't need fingernails. Your fingernails are useless to me. Sabrina, I need your fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fingernail. I said, I said half of this, so no one over pour. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. It's like half. Okay. This goes in here. I need to wash my hands again. Get some camera. I, I skipped part of a step, so I'm, I'm blending this now. You might want that back. Yum, this is what I want in my stomach. It smells like something. Alright, now it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's looking how I want it to look. It's looking like food. I noticed a bit delusional if any of you guys haven't noticed yet. I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly sane. Then gently but thoroughly fold the sauce into a bowl. I don't know what it means by fold. How do you fold a liquid? Jack, do you know how to pull the liquid? It seems like a physical impossibility to me. Are you desperate? No. What? Precisely! <laughs> they call me the Whisk Man. Oh, you were whiskey. Why, why do they call you so many things? They call me uh, the Whiskmeister. Some smell really bad. It's crap. Cool spiky you know, like that. Looks like it's been in the bottom of the sea for for five years. 
Okay, if something was at the bottom of the sea for five years, would you want to eat it? Bring crab. Oh, well, I mean. Step six: carefully pour into four cups to fill your casserole dish. There's not four cups. There are four cups. So. <laughs> they were on a pan for a reason. No helping, but thank you. I'm only saying it because it's my stuff. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you got five dollars out of this. Yeah, you know what? Use it more. Use it for race. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> We're <after> two dollars. <laughs> you. This is your. This is your second employee. Now you show it off. Is it two dollars? Okay, it's fine. You can keep it. You can keep the change. All right. I've been with the company since the since its inception. You've not given me anything. I don't think this is enough for. All four of these. Oh, one of these is gonna be very chunky. Uh huh. You get a chunky one. Oh boy, that's a lot. I'm not eating this. Why not? Doesn't look delicious. Step seven: Bake in preheated 375 degree oven until puffed and lightly browned, 20 to 25 minutes, or until done. Serve immediately. Okay. How long does this take? 20 minutes, or until. Start smelling smoke. Yes, thank you. This is why you get paid and he doesn't. <laughs> what are you guys' expectations? Because you're, 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 you're both gonna be eating this, right? No, I'm not touching that thing. What if it's really good? Disgusting. What if, on the off chance, like this is one of those stories where someone like makes a mistake, a mistake while cooking and actually discovers a brand new food that everyone loves? Good for you. I'm not trying it. <laughs> Careful. All right. All right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, fine. It did rise. It's still liquidy. It's not done yet. No, it has to be brown before I take it out. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit longer then. It did rise. I was not expecting that, honestly. What are you turning that out? Oh. Hello. At the very least, does this qualify as a souffle in your eyes? No. Really? Yes. Why not? I didn't ask you if it was a good souffle. No, because the eggs weren't whipped at all. They were? It was a stiff piece. No, not at all. It didn't come close. Well, it rose. Good job. It's all right, thank you. I, that that means it's a lot to me. All right, now it is actually done. Because you can see that it is brown on top. So let's see the fruits of my labor. One of them is still kind of bubbling. I'm not going to eat that one. Actually, they're all kind of still bubbling. <laughs> Henry, I don't know if this is actually safe to eat. I don't think this is a good idea. It could look worse. It could look worse. You're right there. Is it ready to eat? Um. I'm not eating. Okay. <laughs> You're taking a photo. Oh, don't. Do, do not. This is gone. I'll file this against the police later. Evidence. <laughs> All right. <laughs> of what? You poisoned me. So, how do you guys think this went? For me, it's about as expected. I don't know. Okay. I need a little bit of, oh. Mm. Yeah, it's just egg. I mean, it's, it's edible. That's fine, it's just egg. Okay. You want some? No. No. Why not, you don't like eggs? No, I don't like eggs. Oh, okay. I especially don't. Oh, there's the crab. Not, not terrible. You should have some. Have the whole thing. Yeah. No, it's still bubbling. It will give me some vanilla. This is not too bad. This is a very cheesy Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> well, then I proved my thesis right. Once I'm, once I'm after a souffle, everything else is a breeze, including very cheesy Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding is the easiest. You say anyway. once you've mastered a souffle, you haven't mastered a souffle. <laughs> okay, well, I've mastered something else. I've mastered my new thing. Mastered. I, 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 have, I, have invented, I have invented a new food. Jack, I'll give, you, I'll give you the honor of naming it. No. All right, this is a no. And here's how you can make your own no. How to make your own no. Preheat oven to 375 degrees. Melt two tablespoons of butter in a small frying pan over low heat. Stir in two tablespoons of flour. Sprinkle some salt and pepper. Just fucking eyeball it. Add almost three quarters of a cup of milk, but make sure to get some on the stove top first. Stir until there's less chunks. Ruin a perfectly good egg because Sabrina gave you a strainer. Have your friends spill a bunch of sauce on the stove and blame it on you. Sabrina's the true bad cook in this video. Ruin another egg with your grimy little fingers, you sack of shit. Actually separate the eggs. Add a quarter cup of the sauce to the yolks and whisk! 
Add a quarter cup of the whites too, making sure to spill all of this over again. It's a vital part of the process. Whisk! Cut up crab meat to the very best of your ability. Make sure to hold the knife upside down for the best cutting action. Pour just a little bit of it in after having second thoughts. Add the right amount of cheese. Add a sliced carrot. The skin is the best part. Whisk! Officiate the marriage between the yolk mixture and the white mixture. Bend the laws of physics to fold a liquid. Pour liquid into something. Make sure one of them is extra chunky. Bake until mostly solid. Serve never. Thank you.